Breathe freedom's air Born to a choice The plight and shared history of the Irish and Palestinian people cannot be more intertwined than it is today. The same brutality and inhumanity that the Irish once faced. In Gaza, it is us, it is me and you, our fellow humans with the same eyes, same ambitions and dreams are being intentionally starved, killed and tortured. The same kind of colonial power that caused unimaginable suffering, loss, intentional starvation and displacement to Irish people. What is it like to witness the genocide of your own people in today's world? It is a horrifying reality, a constant state of psychological torture, a live stream on our phones of constant suffering. Since October 7th, 2023, my social media feed has turned into obituaries. Every morning, I wake up to news of death of friends, relatives, classmates, teachers, and kind neighbors. And how enraging it is that these people in Gaza were already living in misery, poor, desperate, and under siege for 17 years. Despite this, they were trying with whatever they had to build a decent life. These kind and simple people had their lives taken away from them in a blink of an eye by the decision of this colonial settler power. Today, I remember five-year-old Rahaf, my niece, killed on November 12, 2023. My sister Hala lost her husband and little Angel Brahaf to a sniper drone. An artificial intelligence drone that scanned that little face and decided it's time for the five-year-old to be killed. My heart was torn apart when my six-year-old niece, Hella's surviving daughter, told me we left dad sleeping on the pavement with blood and Rahaf, we could see her brain. This trauma is something that no child, not my six-year-old, not other thousands of kids in Palestine, should hear about, let alone witness with their own eyes. People in Gaza tell me what we see doesn't reflect a quarter of reality. Imagine not feeling safe for over six months. Not feeling safety with a good chance of dying at any single minute. You and your children. In the end of last month, I lost my dear father to forced starvation and blocking of medical aid. He was a kind father and grandfather who loved life, his people, and his land. He planted and cared for olive trees way more than I could count. Escaping death many times, he died heartbroken after burying his granddaughter, starved and scared. Just like the people of Dulak, who tragically took their journey from here to search for food for survival, this journey has happened today in Gaza as well. The settlements in Palestine became, by violent repression and mapping manipulation, the State of Israel in 1948, destroying 500 Palestinian villages and expelling three quarters of a million Palestinians. The Israeli leaders know from history that boycotts work. That's why they invest so much in opposing BDS in the US, the EU and the UK. They know that Israel's long-time ally for more than 40 years, apartheid South Africa, was brought down in significant part by the power of boycott, not least by the refusal of the 12 Dunn store strikers of Dublin to handle South African apartheid goods. All the Dunn store strikers support the Palestinian call for boycott, divestment and sanctions on Israel. 37 US states 
have introduced laws against the Palestinian demand for BDS. Germany has outlawed BDS agitation and the UK are introducing legislation. The policy-making elite know that mass boycott has a significant effect on the downfall of apartheid regimes and those built on, on slavery. Itamar ben Gavir, Israeli justice minister, uses as his catchphrase, we are the masters of this house. The advocates of structural inequality are determined to maintain the Zionist state as the manifestation of supremacist ideology. They must be defeated as South African apartheid was. It's the struggle of humanity. It's the duty of us all to join in that struggle. Disrupt, occupy, block, interfere, protest. Let no business as usual continue. Hear the voices of Gaza now. Let's not wait to interpret with difficulty future silence. Let's walk today in active memory of those rendered powerless in Duloc in 1849 as two and a half million Palestinians of Gaza faced the same genocidal threat as took through death and exile a quarter of the population of Ireland in Ungurta Moor. It was a very significant event that was one of only thousands of such events that happened during Ungurta Moor. In honouring these people, in remembering these people that walked this road in 1849, we are remembering and dignifying the memory of all those who died anonymously in Angurthamore. To remember this as the pivotal point in our history, the place from where we have come. And I think when we remember that, we automatically express our solidarity with the people in the world who need our solidarity today. Most of the people who walked that road, their names are forgotten. But we do have the names of some of the people who walked, the Dillon family, Catherine Grady, Mary McHale, James Flynn, and Mrs. Dalton and her son and daughter. They all had names. We must remember each of them with the dignity and the respect that they deserve. And that's what this walk's about. I plead with you all here today kind Irish people, to continue giving Palestinian hope. Your solidarity and mass gives Palestinian hope in a world where they feel forsaken and forgotten. Now, it is time to push for no dealings with Israel, to cut off all ties with apartheid regime. No Israeli goods, no companies, no football, no sports, no music, no university ties. The regime's total isolation, just like that of South Africa, former apartheid, is our path. The time is now to act with economic sanctions, and the Irish can proudly lead on this. We remember the Dunn Stores activists, the heroes, and their role in ending South Africa's apartheid. My dear Irish friends, we can do this again. Continue to talk about Palestine, continue to disturb the aggressors who wants us to die in silence. May justice and peace prevail in our lifetime for the Palestinian people and all oppressed people around the world. Thank you. I wish I was on a yonder hill Tis there I'd sit and cry my fill Till every tear would turn a mill Is good shade to my forenean slow Shul, shul, shul arun Shul go sakir agus shul go kyun Shul gadar sag saililam Is good day to my forenean slow I'd sell my rock I'd sell my reel I'd sell my only spinning wheel to buy my lover 
sword of steel is good shade to my forning slow shoo 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 go suck it August shoo go cute Shul gadar sao ke seili lam Is go jay tu ma fawni in slow Lau hatta na koon fi watani An aish bil hub fi biladi Nahar al-dam la yibki Is go jay tu ma fawrneen slow Lau big dar akun Fi ayya makan Lagini fi l-watan al-salam Shaheed habib الروح والأحلام is good day to my forning slow شو 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 لارون شو لغو سوكي راكس شو لغو كيون شو لغدر ساكس سيلي is go jay to my forning slow is go jay to my forning slow thank you very much